In 2014, the electricity sector in Germany was composed of 53% fossil, 17% nuclear and 30% renewable energy sources. Renewables increased their production by 6 terawatt hours or 4% compared to 2013 and accounted for a total of 156 terawatt hours or about 30% of net generated electricity despite the fact that hydroelectricity recorded a decrease in production due to unfavorable weather conditions while nuclear power production decreased only slightly from 2013 to 2014 electricity generated from brown coal hard coal and gas fired power plants significantly decreased by 3% 9.5% and 13.8%, respectively. Germany will phase out nuclear power by 2022. Electricity prices German prices in 2017 were €29.16 per kWh for residential customers, an increase of 35% over 2008. German households and small businesses pay the second highest electricity price in Europe for many years in a row now. More than half of the power price consists of components determined by the state. These include charges for using power grids 24.6%, levies for financing investment in renewable energy 22.1%, and for other kinds of taxes e.g. GST 16%. Topic. Electricity trade in Germany Germany, the largest exporter of electricity with 10% of the overall exports, reinforced its position as a net exporter by 20% during the year 2010 Germany has grid interconnections with neighboring countries representing 10% of domestic capacity. Topic. Electricity per person and by power source Germany produced power per person in 2008 equal to the EU15 average EU15 7409 kWh person and 77% of the OECD average 8991 kWh person on the 8th of May 2016 renewables supplied 87.6% of Germany's national electricity consumption albeit under extremely favorable weather conditions Topic. Mode of production According to the IEA the gross production of electricity was 631 terawatt-hours in 2008 which gave the seventh position among the world top producers in 2010. The top seven countries produced 59% of electricity in 2008. The top producers were the United States 21.5%, China 17.1%, Japan 5.3%, Russia 5.1%, India 4.1%, Canada 3.2% and Germany 3.1%. In 2015, Germany generated electricity from the following sources. 24.0% lignite 18.2% hard coal 14.1% nuclear 12.0% onshore wind 8.8% natural gas 6.8% biomass 5.9% solar 3.0% hydro 1.3% offshore wind 0.9% waste 0.8% oil 4. 0% other Topic. Coal In 2008, power generation from coal contributed 291 terawatt-hours or 46% to the overall production of 631 terawatt-hours. Germany remains one of the world's largest power producer from coal besides China 2733 terawatt hours, USA 2133 terawatt hours and India 569 terawatt hours. Nuclear power Germany has defined a firm active phase-out policy of nuclear power. Eight nuclear power plants were permanently shut down after the Fukushima accident. All nuclear power plants are to be phased out by the end of 2022. 
According to BMU this is an opportunity for future generations. Siemens is the only significant nuclear constructor in Germany and the nuclear share was 3% of their business in 2000. In 2006 the large international bribes of Siemens in the energy and telecommunication business were revealed. The case was investigated, for example, in Nigeria, the United States, Greece and South Korea. The installed nuclear power capacity in Germany was 20 gigawatts in 2008 and 21 gigawatts in 2004. The production of nuclear power was 148 terawatt hours in 2008, sixth top by 5.4% of world total, and 167 terawatt hours in 2004, fourth top by 6.1% of world total. In 2009, compared to 2004, the nuclear power was produced 19% less, and its share had declined smoothly over time from 27% units to 23% units. The share of renewable electricity increased, substituting for nuclear power. Topic. Renewable electricity Germany has been called the world's first major renewable energy economy. Renewable energy in Germany is mainly based on wind, solar and biomass. Germany had the world's largest photovoltaic installed capacity until 2014, and as of 2016, it is third with 40 gigawatts. It is also the world's third country by installed wind power capacity, at 50 gigawatts, and second for offshore wind, with over 4 gigawatts. Chancellor Angela Merkel, along with a vast majority of her compatriots, believes, "...as the first big industrialized nation, we can achieve such a transformation toward efficient and renewable energies, with all the opportunities that brings for exports, developing new technologies and jobs." The share of renewable electricity rose from just 3.4% of gross electricity consumption in 1990 to exceed 10% by 2005, 20% by 2011 and 30% by 2015, reaching 36.2% of consumption by year-end 2017. As with most countries, the transition to renewable energy in the transport and heating and cooling sectors has been considerably slower. More than 23,000 wind turbines and 1.4 million solar PV systems are distributed all over the country. According to official figures, around 370,000 people were employed in the renewable energy sector in 2010, particularly in small and medium-sized companies. This is an increase of around 8% compared to 2009 around 339,500 jobs, and well over twice the number of jobs in 2004 about two thirds of these jobs are attributed to the Renewable Energy Sources Act. Germany's federal government is working to increase renewable energy commercialization, with a particular focus on offshore wind farms. A major challenge is the development of sufficient network capacities for transmitting the power generated in the North Sea to the large industrial consumers in southern parts of the country. Germany's energy transition, the EnergyWend, designates a significant change in energy policy from 2011. The term encompasses a reorientation of policy from demand to supply and a shift from centralized to distributed generation for example, producing heat and power in very small cogeneration units, which should replace overproduction and avoidable energy consumption with energy-saving measures and increased efficiency. Transmission network Grid owners included, in 2008, RWE, ENBW, Vattenfall and E.ON. According to the European Commission the electricity producers should not own the electricity grid to ensure open competition. The European Commission accused E.ON of the misuse of markets in February 2008. Consequently, E.ON sold its share of the network. As of July 2016 the four German TSOs are 50 Hz Transmission GmbH owned by Alia, formerly owned by Vattenfall. Amprin GmbH RWE. Tenet TSO GmbH owned by Tenet, formerly owned by Eon. Transnetu renamed from ENBW Transportnetze AG and a 100% subsidiary of ENBW in Germany. There also exists a single phase AC grid operated at 16.7 Hz to supply power to rail transport. See list of installations for 15 kV AC railway electrification in Germany, Austria and Switzerland. Topic: Elbe crossing 1 
Elbe Crossing 1 is a group of masts providing an overhead crossing of a 220 kV three-phase alternating current electric power line across the River Elbe. Constructed between 1959 and 1962 as part of the line from Stade to Hamburg North, it consists of four masts. Each of the two portal masts is a guide mast 50 m in height with a crossbeam at a height of 33 m. One of these masts stands on the Schleswig-Holstein bank of the Elbe and the other on the Lower Saxony bank. Two identical carrying masts 189 meters in height, each weighing 330 tons, ensure the necessary passage height of 75 meters over the Elbe. One stands on the island of Luhesend, the other in the Bunenfeld on the Schleswig-Holstein side. Because of the swampy terrain, each mast's foundation is built on pilings driven into the ground. The Luhesend portal mast rests on 41 pilings and the one on the Bunenfeld on 57. In contrast to the usual construction of such lattice steel transmission towers, the direction of the line passes diagonally over the square ground cross section of the pylon, resulting in savings in material. The two crossbeams for the admission of the six conductor cables are at a height of 166 m and 179 m. The mast on the Bunenfeld bears at a height of 30 m a radar facility belonging to the Water and Navigation Office of the Port of Hamburg. Each portal mast has stairs and gangways for maintenance of flight safety beacons, and has a hoist for heavy loads. <laughs> Elbe Crossing 2 Elbe Crossing 2 is a group of transmission towers providing overhead lines for four 380 kV three-phase alternating current AC circuits across the German River Elbe. It was constructed between 1976 and 1978 to supplement Elbe Crossing 1, and consists of four towers. A 76-metre tall anchor pylon located in Lower Saxony, on the Elbe's southern banks. Two carrying pylons, each 227 metres tall. One is located on the island of Luhesen and the other is near Hetlingen in Schleswig-Holstein, on the northern shore. These pylons are the tallest pylons in Europe and the sixth tallest of the world. They stand on 95 stakes because of the unfavorable building ground. The base of each pylon measures 45 times 45 meters and each pylon weighs 980 tons. Crossbeams, which hold up the power cables, are located at heights of 172, 190 and 208 meters. The crossbeams span 56 meters lowest crossbeam, 72 meters middle crossbeam and 57 meters highest crossbeam. Each pylon has a self-propelled climbing elevator for maintenance of the aircraft warning lights. Each elevator runs inside a steel tube in the center of the mast, around which there is a spiral staircase. A 62-meter tall anchor pylon on the Schleswig-Holstein side. The enormous height of the two carrying pylons ensures that the passage height requirement of 75 meters over the Elbe demanded by German authorities is met. The height requirement ensures that large ships are able to enter Hamburg's deep water port. Topic. See also Energy wind in Germany Energy in Germany